A local business owner tried to talk down two armed robbers. He was a good man. His widow is releasing new surveillance video of the men driving up to the store, getting inside. She is hoping for justice. I, I just need everybody's help to catch who did this to my husband. It's been nearly four days since two men ambushed a local jewelry shop owner, robbed him, and killed him. All detectives have so far is their getaway vehicle. The owner's widow is releasing more surveillance video from that morning. New Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie is live outside the West Palm Coin and Jewelry Exchange to break down the impactful few minutes. Rochelle? Well, Jim and Tanya, you can see one of those surveillance cameras here outside the business that captured the last few moments of John Lossing's life. Tonight, police are hoping that these new angles will help bring these suspects down. In the video, you see John Lossing walk to the front door of his business, West Palm Coin and Jewelry Exchange. Suddenly, a black van pulls up and a masked man gets out, aiming a gun directly at Lossing. The men begin to talk, all the while a gun still pointed at Lossing's head. Meantime, another camera shows the second suspect walking up to the store with two women. The group and Lossing make their way inside the coin and jewelry shop. Video then captures Law Singh trying to calm the suspects down as one of Law Singh's employees comes up to the front door. Law Singh opens it, shoving the employee aside, warning him about the robbers and runs himself. That's when one of the suspects fires several shots, hitting Law Singh in the arm and torso. Law Singh managed to run across the street to the Circle K to get help, but he later died at St. Mary's Medical Center. We were ready to do a lot of things, but... That ended Monday morning. Lawsing's widow pleading for help to find these men. I just need everybody's help to catch who did this to my husband. And Palm Beach County Sheriff's of Texas found the getaway van used in the robbery. They're still processing it at this time. Now, this is the best screen grab of the two masked men after the after police say they shot John Lawson at the jewelry and coin exchange. They're described as 6'1", 220 pounds, and the second suspect described as 5'8", 130 pounds. Now, there's no description of the getaway driver. Now, of course, if you recognize these men, you're certainly urged to call Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous. That number is one. 800-458-TIPS. Now, Lawsing will be laid to rest Monday afternoon. Live in West Palm Beach, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV News Channel 5.